Bolcombe is a small village in West Sussex that thrives on the strength of its community. But in 2013, fracking firm Quadrilla came to drill for oil. It didn't go well. Oh, that was horrendous. That was so traumatic, I can't tell you. It felt like a dark cloud coming over the village. The village was torn. The frackers departed before any oil was drilled and the community was left with some serious questions. During the disputes about whether we could afford to do without oil or gas, the one question that everybody came up with was, well, what are you going to do if we don't have it when the lights go out? Well, here's your answer. The lights are not going to go out. The community came back together to form Repower Bulkham, an energy cooperative with grand plans to power the village solely with renewable energy. <laughs> you saw in the press all the things about, oh, it's sort of typical NIMBY, they don't want Quadrilla, they don't want this, and it's just so nice to be able to say, actually, yes, we do want stuff, and we want it here, and we're very happy to have it locally, but we'd like some choice, please, and we don't want to have the fossil fuel industry forced on us. We'd rather have a green, cleaner future. They started small, with a trial installation on a cow shed in a local farm. The next step was to raise money to put solar in a couple of local schools, including Bulkham Primary, right at the heart of the village. So the, the kids, they love it, and they love the fact that now we've got solar panels on their school, so they can see every day how much uh, electricity has been generated there. Bulkham <laughs> Solar! You guys look awesome. <laughs> almost be the opposite to, to what um, the oil industry does, which is rather than profits going back to the fat cats, we wanted the profits to stay within the community and try and promote renewables through that. What do I think when I look at solar panels? I think, yes, another one. <laughs> the dream for Repower Bulkham was for local people to pay for the panels and they'd get to keep the profits too. But in order to power the whole village, they'd need to expand. We had the opportunity to go and visit a solar farm and it was just fantastic to see how much wildlife there was in it. Wildflowers, bees, butterflies, it was just a really great, it was, you know, this is a power station. Wow, it's, um, it's just so good. Repower Volcom set about planning for their own large-scale solar installation. 18,500 panels would match the electricity not only of Volcom, but the neighbouring village of West Hothlai too. But then, just as they were about to start selling shares for the solar farm, a sudden cut to government support for community energy threatened to plunge the project into darkness. But all is not lost. The solar farm envisaged by the group is now being built commercially, and Repower Bulkham are working on bringing solar power to another two schools in the area. The whole point of this project is that we are investing in our future. <laughs> It's a fantastic feeling, it really is. We are changing the world.